Hey YouTube, this is Mark, Dispersed Camper Man. And right now it's raining outside. I'm at a dispersed location and I decided I want to make some beef stew. I'm going to show you guys how I do it. So here's a uh, Hawkins Classic. It's made in India. This is a pressure cooker. You can tell the size of my hands is pretty small. It's perfect for truck camping, uh, RVing, whatever you want to do with it. I think it's a 1.5 liter pressure cooker. On the top here is a jiggler, but it really don't jiggle. When the pressure builds up in it, this thing right here actually lift up, let off steam, and go back down. Take that off. The way this is set up, the handle is attached to the bottom handle. Let's lift this up and this comes off. The trick to this lid, you twist it and it'll come out. It's pretty neat. The safety valve is right here, it's up underneath the handle. So let's say this thing right here gets plugged up. Let's see the safety valve that'll actually release the out the pressure inside the inside the pot. This right here is what I'm going to be using to cook stew. Hope you enjoy the video. If you want, go ahead and subscribe, like the video. If you got any questions or comments, let's leave them in the comments section below. Time for some beef stew. What we're going to do first is we are going to brown up this uh, meat first in the pot you don't have to do this but I like that little extra texture throw that on a burner and throw some vegetable oil in the pot bottom of the pan probably about one and two teaspoons don't have to be too much just enough to get that this beef brown while that's heating up I'm gonna start the onion It all depends on how much onion you want. I'm going to have some onions in it, some carrots, and some potatoes, and beef. Make sure that it gets pretty hot before you throw that meat in there. Chop up some of these carrots. Yeah, just remember this crock pot is like a 1.5 liter. I mean, it's real small. It might uh, serve one to two people. I mean, it's perfect for uh, one, two people. Looks like that's done. Turn this light on. What I'm doing now is throwing the beef into the pot, getting a little uh, brown on it. You're not trying to cook the meat, you're just trying to sear it. Tom. I also put a packet of ground gravy in it. 
next to the brown gravy. Makes that gravy in it a lot more gravier. Save that when we actually start cooking it. Here's the last batch. You also cook a lot of other stuff in this. If you're a big rice eater, uh, soups, I mean, it cooks it real quick. Like if I was to cook this beef stew in like a crock pot, I mean, it would probably take six, eight hours electric. The pressure cooker, it's going to take 20 minutes. Now wait till you see what it turned out. It's pretty good. What I'm going to be doing now is throwing in a about three quarters cup, three quarters cup of water through the half a cup. It don't take much. Maybe a little bit more. There you go. Throwing this. Brown gravy. <clears throat> Stir that up a little bit. Throw in my meat. And I'm going to add a potato. A reminder you don't need to you don't want to go over three quarters full because it does need some room in there some onions carrots Maybe stir it around a little bit So right here's got a little seal on it, a little plastic rubber seal. So I sealed it in. I'm gonna put this cap on. And lock the handle down. <clears throat> what I'm gonna do next is put the regulator on it. Just like that. And once it starts actually spewing out, I'm going to turn the burner down halfway, halfway, three quarters, and let it cook for 20 minutes. And she is starting to spout steam. Once the pressure builds up into the pan, so actually release it to the release valve. Get rid of some of that pressure. Well, <clears throat> it's been 20 minutes. And what I am going to do is release this pressure off of it. Now you can go ahead and just turn the heat off and just let it uh, automatically release the pressure over time, take 30 minutes, 45 minutes. What you can do. Just set it in the sink. Make sure you don't take that the uh, pressure regulator off. Just set it in the sink and run cold water over it. It release the pressure a lot quicker. <clears throat> when you open up the lid, make sure you watch yourself because steam will come out. Good stew. Hey folks, I'm glad you watched my video. If you could, please subscribe, like my video. If you got any questions, definitely leave in the comment section. Thanks for watching.